Welcome to this Excel Stat short video on linear regression. In this presentation, I will explain to you how ordinary least squares regression functions. This type of regression is also sometimes referred to as linear regression. If we call x the explanatory variable and y the dependent variable, the linear model writes that the y value for a sample n is the sum of its values on x multiplied by the beta coefficients, plus an error. The way the beta coefficients are found is by minimizing the errors, hence the name ordinary least squares regression. In the case of the simple linear regression, where we have only one x variable, it is very easy to visualize the regression line and the errors of prediction, which are the difference between the real value and the predicted value. In the case of multiple linear regression, it gets a bit more complex, but we will use a visual example to illustrate it. We can take two x variables, and as you see, we can find a regression plane that minimizes the error of prediction. However, we should stress that ordinary least squares regression has some limitations. Firstly, the redundant information in the explanatory variables that we can measure by their linearity can lead to a misinterpretation of the model and the beta coefficients. Then it is necessary to have more observations than the number of x variables. Finally, only one response variable can be modeled. To overcome the first two issues, collinearity between the x variables and the necessity of more samples than variables, we can use principal component regression. Partial least squares regression also solves these issues, but in addition enables you to have several dependent variables.